But Dana, just because I know you're a busy lady who's got a lot of great plans on the weekend, uh, we have nice low 90s, so a little bit of a cool down and a calm down. No wind to worry about uh, Saturday, Sunday. That's perfect. But you've got a golf game Friday because you're complaining about the wind. Well, I figured we'll maybe. see. Okay. Yeah, Justin's not helping me. Here. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk what you do know, and that's financial focus with financial analyst Steve Buden. We got a bunch of topics to talk about today. One of them, manufacturing dropping. Now it's the lowest since reported in 2016. So yeah, and, and this is this could be the. Um, prediction of some of the trade issues. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first month's report since the, the tariff and the, the trade uh, dispute with China and Mexico now have been popping up. So worst number since 2016. And it's just something to keep an eye on. But you know, this country really has done very well recently with their manufacturing. Mm -hmm. uh, I just hope it continues. A lot of people work in manufacturing. Right. Yeah, definitely. And so I mean, obviously, in 2016, it's been a long time since then. Do we see it just being like a temporary thing or things turning around or this is Yeah, I think, you know, the, the next couple of months will be really bumpy. Okay. This, this issue with China and the, the fighting over trade and now we brought Mexico into the situation. This is not resolving itself in the next day or two. Mm -hmm. So as these economic numbers get uh, get you know brought out. We'll see if the governments of both countries come to their senses. Okay, and then this one this benefits some, maybe not others. Interest rates dropping, yep. mortgage rates dropping, CD rates dropping. What does that mean for right. anyone that's at home? Right, and this dovetails with our first point here, with the manufacturing dropping and the economy really showing some signs of slowing. Investors tend to go and buy bonds. They tend to be a little bit more of a conservative investment. Mm -hmm. If they buy bonds, the interest rates on those bonds tends to go down. So with interest rates going down, uh, mortgage rates are dropping. It's mm -hmm. the lowest we've seen mortgage rates in a couple of years. Right. So if you're looking to buy a home, may not be a bad time to lock in an interest rate. If you're buying a car, same thing. On the flip side, if you're a saver and you're looking for, uh, again, bonds or CDs, you'll see those interest rates drop as well. Mm. It's just a big tell for how the economy is going. Generally, when interest rates go down, things are slowing up. When interest rates go up, it means that the economy is doing okay. Okay, interesting. Good yeah. indicator then. All right, this one, uh, interesting. We're talking economics and politics and the <coughs> film industry. We actually have reported that Netflix um, might not do some movie producing or film <coughs> shooting in Georgia ever since this abortion law passed. Yeah, and this is something I think as the election season and picks up we'll see more of and I make a point on these financial segments not to get involved in the politics mm -hmm. or the policy it's just interesting as various states enact you know civil rights laws or reproductive laws or in our state the gun rights laws it'll be interesting to see how various industries react and I've always said most of our viewers you know you can basically vote every day with your wallet mm -hmm. there are certain issues that may be important to you and if you do your homework, you can see which companies and now really which states support those views. So it will get pretty bumpy. You know, most companies really try to stay away from the political fray. They just want to sell products. Sure. It doesn't matter whether you're Republican or Democrat. They just want to sell products. But when they're forced to take sides, it really begins to become an issue for them. Right. And I guess they feel that if they believe a certain way and hey, we're not going to shoot stuff there, then, you know, the state of Georgia will want right. them back. They'll change their mind. That kind of thing. Is that the whole, you know, motivation behind it? Right. And, and they're kind of stuck uh, between a rock and a hard place because if they take a position, they'll anger some people. But mm -hmm. if they don't take a position, they'll anger some people. Yeah. It's one of those. If you try to satisfy everybody, maybe you satisfy nobody. Mm -hmm. um, the next you know, year and a half will really magnify some of these some of these very sensitive issues. All right. Thank you so much. As usual, Steve, we hope you get to play some golf on Friday. <laughs> if not, there's Steve's website. All right. We'll see you next Monday. Thank you.